my name is Sean Anders and I'm with the Jackie Duplitsky team at Prudential Douglas Solomon here in Manhattan. Today we're going to go through the West Village and Meatpacking District. As you can see, we're on the beautiful Cobblestone Street with townhouses. That's the trademark for the West Village. Why don't you follow me on to the Meatpacking District and we'll go through that. Now we're in the Meatpacking District, which is well known for all the uh, commercials that are shot here, the uh, crime scenes that you see on CSI, and all sorts of movies throughout uh, time. Uh, the meatpacking is also known for its famous uh, restaurants, uh, starting with Pastis, you have some of the best steakhouses including STK, Abe & Arthur, Old Homestead, uh, you have one of the best Mexican restaurants in Dos Caminos, and a uh, fantastic Thai restaurant, uh, the Spice Market. Uh, also what is, uh, it is known for is the nightlife, uh, you have clubs like uh, Ten Jun, uh, Anja, uh, to name uh, a few. And if you want to go uh, dirty and dingy, go down to Hogs and Heifers. Have a good time there with the uh, girls on the bar. And that was uh, similar to the Coyote Ugly movie. Uh, so that's just a little flair and a little taste of the packing district. Why don't we go and take a look at the Highline Park? Here we are at the Highline Park, which just opened in June of 2009, and which is the first section from Gansport Street all the way up to West 20th and then uh, from West 20th up to West, thir uh, to West 30th Street. That just opened up uh, two weeks ago, June 8th here, 2011. Why don't we go on and take a look upstairs and see what that looks like. And here we are on the High Line Park, actually, taking a look at it. The High Line uh, itself was actually built in 1930, and it was uh, built to alleviate the uh, amount of traffic that was being uh, used by uh, the freight trains, so they raised the freight trains above the city so there was no uh, no issues with cars and traffic and, and uh, accidents and all sorts of stuff. It closed down in 1980 and had been vacant ever since uh, until they started building this beautiful park that we are seeing uh, back in 2005. So uh, one of the things that's really unique to the Highline Park are all these beautiful benches that are built out. You have all sorts of uh, greenery. Uh, they beautifully landscaped. It shoots right underneath the Standard Hotel, which is a really cool, chic uh, hotel here in the West Village. And then uh, if you'll pan over to uh, your left, you'll see the Hudson River. So after the Highline Park, we're going to go take a look down by the river. And here we are at the Hudson River Park. Uh, the park is known for its beautiful promenade that goes all the way down to Battery Park City. Uh, it's uh, grassy knolls where you can lay out, have a great time, read a book, uh, entertain with friends. Uh, it also has a beautiful bike path and running path where you can rollerblade, run, bike, and then a few piers along the way, all the way down to Battery Park City where you can do some calisthenics, lay out, a few jungle gyms for, for children, a uh, nice little water park, and it's just a really great relaxing time. Uh, all, all along here you have some of the high-end condos uh, that uh, the city is known for, one being Superior Inc., one of the most expensive and exclusive buildings in all of Manhattan. So, I just wanted to thank you today for uh, joining me on the West Village and Meatpacking District Tour. And uh, until we see you again, be sure to give me a call and we'll hit a home run together.